Hello there, Diorama Don here again. Um, I made a video a few weeks ago of the uh, the church in uh, the village of Ramel, which is uh, the end sequence of the movie Saving Private Ryan. Uh, it caused quite a bit of interest, so I thought I'd do the bridge. The bridge where poor Mr. Hanks meets his demise at the end, at the end of the film. So uh, a significant part of the movie, so the bridge over the, uh, well I assume the River Ramel. So um, there are a number of photos on, uh, on Google um, and I, I've, I've had to make out the scale and size as best I can. Uh, the centre um, arch is slightly uh, higher than the two outside arches. It isn't a flat top roof uh, uh, bridge. There's a slight radius on the top, so I've had to sort that out. Um, so I, I've cut the two sides, like so, from three millimeter uh, cardboard. Um, these will sit or be glued in place there so that I can lay the road across there when the two pieces are together. Uh, so that's the road. Uh, these pieces will go under the arch. I think that one goes there, like so. That will have to be uh, super glued slowly, going around there. And then again, the same the other side. Um, I ran out of one millimeter uh, cardboard that I normally buy, so I've had to cut up a cornflake packet for the for the middle middle arch and then there are these pieces that go together like so and they will make that kind of shape if I can something like that I think the technical term for these are sticky algae bits I believe that's true uh, so they will go there uh, so I'll stick all this together and at least it will give the shape of the bridge and we'll have a little bit more idea of uh, where to go on from there. So I'll be back in a moment. OK, so everything all assembled now. Uh, I put the arches in. I had to use super glue. You can see where I sort of spot welded all the way around. It was the only way really to, to, to do that, to, to get the right shape. Uh, and then put these inserts in the bottom just to finish off the the shape of the arch. Um, I've had to double up on the thickness of the walls as well because uh, they won't quite be thick enough but when I put my um, stone either side that that will make it the right thickness. Uh, I put my piers in, my sticky algae bits apparently are called piers so they're in place now. Um, uh, Taken away the uh, the broken broken wall on both sides of the bridge there. Um, watching the movie, there are uh, j there's just a fleeting glance of the bridge, and you can just see uh, some tram lines actually on the bridge. Well, I'm going to pretend I didn't see those because <laughs> that's going to be far too difficult to do, especially on a on a curve like that. So I'll dismiss with the tram lines, but I will make it into a cobbled street, cobbled road. Uh, so that will be my next job. Um, and then I'm not sure whether to actually lay the grout straight onto the cardboard and then carve stones in, or whether to make individual uh, stones and stick them on. Uh, but when I get to that point, uh, I shall make a decision then. Uh, but we've got the shape. The, that, that was the, the difficult part, actually, getting the shape of the thing in the first place. So I'll carry on and uh, I'll put a coating of uh, white wall filler, uh, as usual, all over the, uh, well, it, the entirely, cover it entirely, and then put the, uh, the cobbled road in. So I'll do that and come back. So we've got the road in now, the cobbled street across the bridge. 
uh, just a, a layering of grey grout and then using a straight edge uh, marked out all the um, <clears throat> the uh, cobbles individually then as it was drying uh, just make a circle around each each cobble just to take the corners off uh, to make it look a little little more realistic rather than it being just a, a grid of squares uh, giving it a coat of um, wall filler as well just to uh, take away the cardboardiness because that's uh, not easy to, to, to paint to put any finish on and taking away the, the broken wall where uh, bombs of uh, your shells have hit it um, I've uh, elected to um, put my own stone rather than put a, a layer of grout and mark out marking out the uh, the stones uh, I've made three bespoke sizes uh, looking very carefully at photographs uh, there's this size that goes all around the arch so I've made made a load of uh, stones that size so they will be for that then up to about that level there are large stone blocks so they will they will go uh, <coughs> all around there and then the top level are thin thinner um, stones so from there up to the up to the top are thin stones so three different sizes of uh, uh, stone and brick so I'll go ahead and do that and uh, we'll see how we get on from there so the bridge is complete now uh, I stuck the uh, stones on the sides of the bridge uh, the three bespoke sizes that I had to make the ones for the arches and then the, the bigger dress stones on the top and then the smaller stones that make up the actual wall of the bridge uh, for the capping I just used a, a, a bead of um, tile grout, a, a, a lime limestone coloured tile grout on the top and I think that worked out pretty well, looks okay. So that saved having to make uh, capping stones all the way around. Uh, the uh, walls at the front and back they're um, blown up blown out shelled out and the debris all over the all over the um, cobbled street um, I filled the cobbles in with the uh, wall filler a little water and a little black paint so that uh, that fills in the, the cobbled area um, I'm afraid you just have to imagine Tom Hanks uh, leaning up against the wall uh, shooting aimlessly at uh, German tanks uh, and then dying <laughs> uh, so uh, and the only military vehicle I've got is this half track as you may have noticed from other videos it's all I own uh, but anyway that's uh, that's the bridge complete um, if you've enjoyed the video then please uh, subscribe uh, numbers going up nicely now um, there will be other videos in the next uh, two or three days but still got ideas for different things to do uh, so um, as I say please subscribe and uh, I will be back shortly with a new video and uh, as always uh, happy modeling <laughs>